Today, we are gathered to celebrate a monumental milestone in the pro-life movement, the first national pro-life summit since the overturning of Roe v. Wade. We are going to celebrate a lot today, certainly, but we're also here to equip you with the tools that we all need, truly, to continue creating a culture of life and fighting until abortion is not only gone the way of Roe v. Wade from a legal perspective, but culturally, it is unthinkable in America. And I just want to remind you today, something that you probably already know, but I, I don't get tired of saying it, that this work is worth it, that it is worth every single bit of pushback, of persecution, of discomfort, of dejection you may experience. This work is a matter of life and death. If anything in this life matters, if anything is worth your dedication and love, it is saving babies and serving their parents. You build a culture of life by living a culture of life, by showing a college-aged woman that it's worth it to keep that child, that there's a whole support network of love to be there for the mom and that child. And we'll see the abortion numbers go down, and we'll see life win. We are bold. We will be bold. We will be bold on social media. We will be bold on our airplanes back home. We will be bold on our buses. We will be bold at the gas stations where we stop to go to the bathroom. We will be bold everywhere we go. We will be bold in our churches. We will be kind. We will be loving. We will overpower them with our voices of love. Now our mission is to guarantee the right to life from conception to natural death. Have we achieved that victory? No. The end of Roe was huge. Roe didn't just erroneously protect abortion, it completely removed abortion from the political process. Ending Roe doesn't actually solve the problem, but it gives us, for the first time in 50 years, a real shot at protecting life. Now the real work can begin. Dobbs is to the pro-life movement what the Emancipation Proclamation was to the Civil Rights Movement. It was the first step in establishing the legal framework upon which we as citizens can now go fight to obtain the promise of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness for every human being, born and unborn. With Roe v. Wade gone, America has a true chance to become the land of the free, the free to be born. But now, Pro-Life Chen, it's your responsibility, it's our privilege to bring the brave, to be to see good triumph over evil and to end the devastation of abortion in our land forever. We must value clarity as much as the enemy loves confusion. We must be as determined to affirm the truth as they are to deny it. We must be as eager to protect our children as they are to corrupt them. And we must be as willing to defend innocent life as they are to destroy it. This is the post row generation right here in this room. You are the answer to the culture of death. And you're honoring God by joining in this fight. I hope you know that. Never forget it. Thank you.